Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, you guys. So here we are. Uh, Daily Reflections, November the 7th. And um, again, I just want to say how much I enjoy doing this and, uh, and, and get received from it. I received from it, no question. <clears throat> so today it's Let Go and Let God is the title, November the 7th, Daily Reflections. And the reading is praying only for the knowledge, for, for praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. Boom. You know, what if that's it? You know, I'm not running the show, so God show me what you have me to do and give me the strength to do it. <clears throat> that's from the 12 and 12, 12 uh, page uh, 96. And then the reading on that is, when I let go and let God, I think more clearly and wisely. I think more clearly and wisely. Without having to think about it, I quickly let go of things that cause me immediate pain or discomfort. Because I find it hard to let go of the kind of worrisome thoughts and attitudes that cause me immense anguish, all I need to do during these times is to allow God, as I understand him, to release them from me. Then and there, I let go of the thoughts, memories, and attitudes that have, are troubling me. When I receive help from God, as I understand him, I can live my life one day at a time and handle whatever challenges come my way. Only then can I live a life of victory over alcohol in comfortable sobriety. Remember that the readings often talk about, you know, a victory over alcohol, because this is out of Alcoholics Anonymous, and, and even though many of us are dealing with lots of other things, uh, we came to AA because we wanted to stop drinking, and we wanted to get our life somehow in order. And uh, so stopping drinking for many of us was easy. It was, of course, staying stopped. <laughs> and uh, I was a great quitter. I just, you know, couldn't stay quit. And, and so learning these, this new way of living, first of all, realizing that I, I could not run the show anymore. You know, I could not run the show. That My life was unmanageable from, from my thinking. And when I realized that, that was only, that's just step one, you know. Then the whole rest of the program is showing me how to live in the moment, in relationship with God as I understand Him. And, of course, how I understand God is, is not as something, this is my understanding, not as something that's separate, you know, infinite, infinite. Bill says in, uh, in We Agnostics, God either is or he isn't. Either he's everything or he's nothing. And I love that word, everything. You know, so it's, I'm not seeking something separate. You know, again, Bill said in We Agnostics, deep down inside every man, woman, and child is the fundamental idea of God. Where do we find God? Only in, in, in within us, in the moment. And uh, as we practice that, you know, bringing ourselves into this relationship, this conscious contact with, with a higher power, which Step 11 is all about, you know, less and less do we get caught up in, in our fears, in our guilt, in our shame, in our um, desires, you know, to let go of, of needing to, you know, get uh, most of my life, all of my life pretty much, that was the thing. It was a, I was always trying to get something from outside of me. And uh, to be able to just settle into the moment. Boom. And everything is perfect in the moment. We had our meditation group here last night. Wow, it was so, so good. We, we, you know, because as, as we drop into the moment, we, we literally expand. We're expanded into the, the space, into this whatever you want to call it, nothingness, this endlessness. So there was a lot of expandedness going on last night. It was beautiful. So that's the deal.
you know, call it what you want. Presence, God, universal intelligence, love. We experience it in the moment. And so we practice, you know, the, the best time to practice, like the signpost of when we need to be here, is when fear comes up, when our old thoughts come up uh, of guilt or shame or, you know, um, what about me or self-pity or victim thoughts as they come up. That's, that's, a, that's like a, a great big sign saying, okay, be here now, pray. You know, and, and, and I love prayer. Prayer is the, the magic, you know, door opener to the moment into my relationship with higher power. So that's my kind of take on today's reading. Let go and let God. You know, just letting go. Um, I don't know if you've ever read Dr. David Hawkins, but Hawkins' stuff is so good explaining this letting go process. He has a beautiful book called Letting Go. I really recommend it. And uh, he was uh, also in recovery and, um, and helped a lot of people in recovery. He's a beautiful man, Dr. David Hawkins. Okay, that's it. Love you guys. Um, hmm. yeah. Think about Mexico. We've got, still got some spaces open for that. And, uh, it's happening. I was talking to a guy today, a friend of mine today. He lives in Portland, and he'd like to come for two weeks. So we're kind of we're gonna do basically two packages. One will be uh, the whole month, which starts on the twenty eighth of January, uh, on the Monday, or the other would be two week increments. The first two weeks or the second two weeks, so that because uh, we're gonna have a, a lot of space and, and uh, yeah. So that's it. Love you. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.